Hi everyone and welcome to Drinks Tube. I'm Danielle and today I have for you not one, not two, but three delicious recipes for Bucks Fizz or Mimosa. This refreshing and bubbly cocktail is perfect for brunch or a celebration. Sometimes you'll see things like gin or brandy added, and also you'll usually see Bucks Fizz in the UK or the Mimosa in the US. But essentially the only difference is the ratio between bubbly and fresh orange juice. So today I have for you a classic, a pink Bucks Fizz, and an elderflower twist. Right, let's crack on. We're going to start with a classic. You're gonna to need to start with a frozen flute glass, just like this. And then we're gonna pour in two thirds of the glass of Prosecco. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so let's top that up. Okay, perfect. So the next thing we're going to add is one third of freshly squeezed orange juice. So we'll top that up there. Okay, perfect, that's it. Really, really simple, so let's just give it a taste. Mmm, that is absolutely great. Really, really light and refreshing, but slightly sweeter than having a regular Prosecco, and you get the nice citrusy flavor from the orange. It's definitely a classic. Right, so up next we have a pink Bucks Fizz, and we're going to take our frozen flute glass and fill it up with two thirds of rosé sparkling wine. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, let's put two thirds of the glass. Okay, great, so that's all set. And next up, we are going to add in one third of blood orange. Now you can use fresh blood orange juice, but it's not in season for us right now, so we're just going to use the juice. So pour that in. Check out that beautiful color. Let's give it a try. That is brilliant. Really nice light flavor and you can taste the blood orange. It's definitely a great twist on a classic. So last up I have for you an elderflower bucks fizz. I'm going to take my frozen flute glass and pour in two thirds of Prosecco. Let the fizz relax a little bit. Okay, so that's enough there. Next up we are going to toss in 20 milliliters of our elderflower liqueur. This is going to go really well with the bubbly and it's going to offer a really nice floral aroma and flavor. Right, so let's top that up with some freshly squeezed clementine juice. Pour that in. That is going to give the drink a nice citrusy orange flavor. And then to garnish this, we're just going to toss in one segment of fresh clementine. And lastly, we're going to take a fresh lemon peel and we're going to squeeze the oils all over the glass. It's going to give us a nice fresh lemon aroma when we drink it. And then we're going to twist it and drop it into the glass. If you want to learn how to do this fresh lemon twist, just click here for Rich's one minute tip. Right, so let's give it a go. It's really nice. The sweetness and the floral from the elderflower balances perfectly with the fresh lemon zest. It's fantastic. There you have it guys, three wicked ways to make Bucks Fizz or Mimosa. You have to give it a go. And if you're looking for any more brunch cocktails, check out Jamie's Bloody Mary by clicking here. And guys, make sure that you subscribe to DrinksTube. Cheers.